that you're here and we want to take a moment this morning because like I said we are a team and uh, the team is not only the leadership team but it's all of you who are here collectively to learn more about the trucking insurance industry so we want to make sure that everybody gets to know each other we encourage you strongly to interact to mingle to trade with each other information because this is a huge country and globe beyond that so there's plenty of business out there so help each other support each other in every way possible and to kick that off uh, we're going to start on the left we'd like to have everybody go around and just take 10-15 uh, seconds and introduce yourself tell who you are and where you're from anyway while that's doing while it's doing its thing um, Again, we want to welcome you here this morning, and um, I want to touch on a couple points. Does everybody have a manual in front of them? Okay. Let's go ahead and open that to page five. Can you help me get in, Tommy? Thank you. If you can get in, Tommy Lock, that'd be great. Okie doke. I want to cover a couple things with you this morning just as an introduction uh, to help us gain uh, an understanding of uh, what we're going to be talking about and uh, where we're going. Okay, I can take it from, from there, Tommy. Thanks. That was easy. All right. Sorry for the interruption, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Again, we want to welcome you. And I uh, want to share with you a little bit of information about the Transportation Risk Specialist Program. What is the Re Transportation Risk Specialist Program? Well, it's about a lot of different things. The first thing that it's about is education. It's all about relevant content and info that's current for you to help you. And today is what we call the Port of Entry. The Port of Entry is the introduction to the trucking industry. And we're going to throw at you a lot of information over the next couple of days. Uh, and, and talking with Tommy and some of the other members uh, over the last couple of days, if you have a seatbelt with you, I'd encourage you to strap it on. And if you don't, just hang on to your chair because there's going to be a lot coming at you real quick. But what we want to do is we want to give you as much, <laughs> as much information as possible to arm you to go back out there in the marketplace and help people within the trucking industry. So this is the port of entry. This is the first face-to-face -face training. and It'll be almost two days chock full of information. The next thing we have for you are mile markers. What the mile markers are, they're one hour web and print information modules and those are going to be on our website. And if you're not familiar with what our website is, I would encourage you to write it down right now. Okay? It's really, really important. It's www.transportation, all spelled out, transportation risk specialist.com, that's singular transportationriskspecialist.com. That's going to be your go-to site for all the information that you're going to need to have massive success in this program. Okay, That's where the mile markers are going to be. They're going to be one hour web and print information modules. They're going to be on there. Our goal is to have them up by the end of the month. If we can get them up there sooner, we will and we'll let you know when they're up there. Okay. They're going to talk about a lot of things but one of the focuses of the online modules is uh, coverage. Okay, so it's going to be your follow-ups. It's going to be a place that you can go 24/7, 365 for a brush up, a fresh up, or to learn more about specific coverages specific to this industry. The next thing we're going to have for you is a, a blog. Okay, it's going to be a weekly blog, and again, the target to get this up is by the end of the month. If if we can get it up sooner, we will. And this blog is going to be available to you to share with other people to share with your prospects, to scare, share with your clients, to leverage your expertise in this particular industry. And we would strongly encourage you to ask other people to participate on the blog as well so that we can drive uh, rankings, your presence online, and everything having to do with that in addition to learning more about the industry. Uh, Tommy's going to be a frequent contributor to that. There may be some other um, people, industry participants, etc., that are participating in that as well. So keep your eyes and ears open for that. The next part of the education piece that we have for you is a monthly one-hour webinar. And this is to address current issues that are going on within the transportation industry. It's going to be the third Tuesday with TRSP. And that's what it's going to be called, the third Tuesday with TRSP. This is going to be at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 
the third Thursday of every month. Those are going to start in approximately May. Okay? So it's a little ways out, but once we get them started, they're going to run consistently every single month. And this is going to be your opportunity to discuss with people within the TRSP program about current issues that are going on within the industry. You'll get new, relevant, up-to-date information. You'll be able to talk about things you're experiencing, so forth and so on. Again, we want to give you all the tools that you're going to need to have massive success within this particular program. The next thing we have for you is a helpline. I know it says hotline in some of your books, but really our, our emphasis is a helpline. And I'm going to share with you one other opportunity in that area in just a second. But the helpline is your ability to contact us whenever you need us all of the time to get help with anything concerning a trucking risk or anything to do with helping you help somebody with trucking insurance. Okay? Again, remember, transportationriskspecialist.com is your go-to place, your resource for everything you need to have success in this program. And under the Contact Us area, you're going to find a, a menu uh, of contact information to help you. It's not complete yet. It's going to be complete very soon. And the helpline email address will be right there for you. Okay? So if you've got something you need, just go to the contact us at transportationriskspecialist.com, email us, and we'll get you the information, normally within 24 business hours or less. Now, let's say there's a situation where you're stuck. You've got an extremely hot pros prospect that uh, you know, needs help right now. Or you have a question that just cannot wait. We want to be there for you on that situation as well. We're going to ask that you respect the time of all the people involved and only use that hotline phone number for those specific times. Please don't contact us if you just have an underwriting question and that kind of stuff. We know those are important too, but we want to reserve that feature for those really need critical times where you have the need. Example might be, let's say you got 14 units that just came across your path and the prior agent passed away and something got delayed and this kind of stuff and it's, it's a hot, hot issue that may be a really good fit for you. That might be an example of a time. Or they're in a customer's office and have a question come up and you don't know the answer. Or you're in a customer's office that comes up and there's a question that you don't know the answer to. I mean, you, use your good judgment as far as what those critical times are, okay? But we, we will have that for you there as well, okay? And the last thing that uh, we're bringing to you is written manuals, documented information. And the start here today is the manual that you have in front of you, um, the port of entry to the transportation risk specialist program. Okay? And Tommy's going to dig in. He's going to go very deep into all the information in here. We're going to do everything that we can to make sure that all of your questions are answered while you're here. In fact. Uh, as, as you've heard before, we're going to guarantee it. So um, that's extremely important to us today. Uh, the leadership team for TRSP, uh, we don't care about sleep. Sleep is overrated. We're here to help you get started in this particular program today. Okay? So the next thing I want to focus on is prospects. We need leads to be able to help leads. Is that accurate? I can't share with you how excited I am about the prospects that we're going to bring to the table in this particular program. And, and Craig, Craig, raise your hand. Craig is our, our lead guy. He's the expert in that particular area. You're going to hear more from Craig uh, tomorrow. But uh, we have all the leads that you're going to need available. Uh, we've identified that there's going to be normally around at least 10 hot prospects coming to your desk every single month that need your assistance. And that's for only for the existing renewals. That's the little secret that we've got because most of the people out there in this particular industry, that's all they're working. We've got lists that are available aside from that that nobody's touching except for you now. This is a huge opportunity for you and we're really excited about that. So, um, and as far as pre-screening, the pre-screening involves insight and, and priorities that might be on your list. Okay? Each of you have a specific territory that's yours and yours only that you're going to work. Okay? And so we're going to go through that and we're going to help you prioritize what may be the hotter leads so that you can quickly take advantage of those. Okay? And uh, we'll talk about the automation and all that uh, later. So, What about placing risks and markets and all that kind of stuff? Well, we've got answers for you there as well. Um, as far as placing risks, um, one, one of the industry leaders in this particular uh, arena is Progressive. And they quickly came to the table and said, we want to be involved in your particular program. So we have somebody from Progressive who is here, 
who wants to help answer all of your questions where possible, don't have the answers, certainly going to get them. Uh, they were kind enough to step up and host your cock first uh, night's cocktail party tonight, so thank you for that. And uh, what, what if progressive is not the market for a particular risk? La, 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 la. So anyway, um, that, that might happen. Coverage they don't offer as well, thank you. Okay, We've got other companies that are available to help you with this particular situation. And uh, through the uh, initial conversations that we've had with these markets, it's been extremely positive. We, and new, com new uh, possibilities are contacting us, it seems like, almost every day. So that's good. We've, uh, we've had conversations and a commitment from a national carrier for the GL, the OCAC, and uh, workers' comp and some other coverages already on a national basis. So that's in place. So we're excited about that. So the markets are there. The opportunities are there. All right? And there's other things involved uh, like EPL and FISDAM and all that kind of stuff. So the access is there as well. And uh, uh, Mr. Rook, who you're going to hear from more, uh, certainly has uh, any connection that's necessary uh, on a pick-up-the-phone basis. It's just absolutely been amazing to me working with him in the last couple of months. So what's next? What about the post port of entry access uh, and the assistance that you're going to need? What's going to happen when you leave here tomorrow afternoon or Wednesday morning and you go back to your office and you go back to the day-to-day -day operations and you might leave here kind of excited about the opportunities that you have in front of you. But then we get back to the office and we talk to somebody that says what's new and you say I'm a trucking insurance specialist now and I'm going to help people in the trucking industry and they have something to say that might not be so positive. What are you going to do then? Or maybe you don't know something and you're a little frustrated because you're at that particular position. Anybody ever been there? Twice. This morning. Okay? It's okay. We're here to help you. Okay? Is dog in the room? Okay. That man with two hands up is, is your man. That's Mr. Doug Weber, and you're going to uh, meet him a little bit more later. But Doug is our guy, okay? Doug is our coach who is here to stand by your side. So after you receive your list of prospects, after we do the appropriate paperwork and so forth, you're going to get a list of leads that you're going to be able to actively work immediately. So what do you... Right. 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 So... Um, so what are you going to do with those leads? Okay, If you get into a position, like we said, you don't know what to do, you've got a question, you're not completely certain of what the next step is, or just anything concerning how to proceed, Doug is our guy. Okay, Doug, Doug's sole mission in this particular project is to make sure that you are successful. Because we want you to be successful. That's why we're here. We wouldn't have invested the time and everything else that we've put together so far if we didn't want you to be successful. You came a long way to get here, some of you, and uh, we want to make sure that your success will happen definitely. So what's going to happen? Doug is going to contact you uh, at least three days a week for the next six weeks. Three days a week for the next six weeks to assure your success, to work side by side with you. Now most of you filled out a contact form, I believe, and if you haven't, you will before you leave. On that contact form is a place to uh, note uh, what the best way to contact you, whether it be phone or email. Make sure you fill that out because uh, that's how Doug's going to initially reach out to you. All right? And if he doesn't see a way to contact you, email is going to be the default because we respect your time. So look out for an email from Doug Weber because he's your guy. Okay? Doug's going to be here to stand by your side uh, and make sure that you have success. And, and as far as large complicated risks, we've already had this come up in the particular program. If you have a situation where it's a lot of units, a large account, and you want them to go out with you to that particular account to be there, to sit with you, to lend the expertise that may not be present yet, we can do that. Again, it's on a case by case and you need to get in touch with us, but use us and abuse us. We want your success. Okay? All right. Any quick questions, thoughts, comments? Okay. We want to make this interactive. So as we go along, as Tommy's talking or anybody else is talking, if you have something, a question, a thought, or a comment, uh, you can either write it down or ask the question. Again, we want to get you all the information that's necessary uh, to make sure that your success is immediate, immediate in this particular program. Okay. Yes, sir. The website is that um, accessed by passcode or 
It will be accessed by, the general inf contact information will not, but as far as the modules and all that type of stuff, yes. Tom, general access code or individual? You'll have an individual username and password. Everybody will have an individual username and pass code, password for access to the website. Thank you, Roger. Anything else? So that leads me to a question for you. How many people in this room would like to add maybe four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars in commission to their book in the next four or five years? Anybody interested? Okay. Uh, I'll I'll tell you twice. Hopefully, I can double that, but. That's the good news, and, and like she said, she went through the school of hard knocks and had to kind of figure it out on her own and, and work through everything, find the markets, do this, do that. Now it's all together in, in one place for you, so that's good news. Um, quick question for you on one more logistic that I forgot. Uh, how many principal, agency principals do we have in the room? Okay, hands down. And how many producers do we have in the room? So we got a little mix, that's good. So I got another question for you. And I, and I learned this about two years ago and it just hit me like a ton of bricks. You ever had that aha moment? If you had the cure for cancer, how many people would you tell? You would tell everyone. We had the aha moment when we came together and said, We've got the cure to help people write truck insurance quickly, easily, and profitably. We just figured we had to tell everybody. And thank you for listening and thank you for being here. Today I want to focus on trucking. So I'm back to page six in your manuals. Why focus on trucking? Good question. Uh, anybody ever heard of Apple, the computer company? This person right here has. Tim's heard of them. iPods, iPads, iPhones. They've done okay. I heard recently that uh, it's over 50 some odd million iPads. Supposed to get close to 100 million maybe by the end of the year. I don't know. They're, they're going like fire. So Steve Jobs was the vision behind that. Okay. Unfortunately, Steve Jobs his, his uh, ability to lead the mission ended, okay? But before it ended, he was able to share some of his insights, and we have a couple pieces for you on his insights right here in the manual. Steve Jobs talked about focus. It says, after Steve Jobs returned to Apple in 1997, following a 12-year exile from the company he co-founded, he slashed Apple's lineup from dozens of products, most of them crap in his own words, to a manageable, Handful. This refocus was needed because he wouldn't easily answer the question. He, yeah, he wouldn't easily answer the question, which computer model do I recommend to my friends? You know, when your friends ask you, hey, what do you really think? Agents who seem to quote anyone and everyone are similarly complicating their sales lives. Instead, focus on specific targets or specialty type products to hone your expertise and enhance your bottom line. He goes on to talk about ecosystems. Apple's success is due to Jobs' leadership and his belief that the company didn't just sell electronics and media, that it provided an entire ecosystem that makes everything work together well. Apple buyers appreciate this approach and elect to function within the system, even at higher prices than their many competitors. Your agency has a similar choice to make, to offer quality multi-line insurance ecosystem where buyers feel comfortable or just in traffic or traffic in policies like so many do. So a lot of things that happen in life to us are really all about choices, okay? So let's go to page seven and talk a little bit about niche marketing. This is uh, from the American Agent and Broker, February 2012, and I don't know if you saw this or not. Even if you saw it, uh, it's worth rereading again and again and again. And as I was reviewing this again this morning, I decided that I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put this up in multiple places that I see it every single day. Because these, these thoughts are gold as it relates to niche marketing, specifically to the trucking insurance market. And keep in mind, we're all partners here, again. 
and I'll touch on that more in just a minute. I mean, we're going to be doing this just like you are. The people in this room who are licensed principals uh, of agencies, we've also got territories too. We're going to be walking side by side with you as we work through this. Okay? So let's review real niche marketing as it uh, relates in this article. What should it entail? Well, first of all, research. What is the potential volume of this niche within your particular marketplace? We've got a good idea already. Craig's helped us with that. What makes these business owners tick, though? What's going on in the mind of this particular marketplace? Always got to be thinking about that. What's going to wake them up at 3.01 in the morning in a cold sweat? That's information we need to know. How are you going to find that out? Just ask. Just ask. They'll tell you. Okay. What, do you have a viable and competitive carrier for this market? We do. We've got a lead carrier and we've got many carriers that follow that and more to come. Do you have a backup carrier in case your primary carrier pulls out of the market? Yes, already there. What about personnel? Do you have a producer with experience and a passion for this niche? Hayes, you feeling the passion? Yes. Talking to Hayes last night, I think he's already feeling the passion. He's excited about this. And he, it's important that you share that with the other people in the office. When you become passionate about this, when you start having success, make sure you share that with the other people who are going to be servicing the business. Continue to include them in everything that you do. Okay. Is your back office prepared to handle this new niche? Are they educated in the niche to talk intelligently with the clients in their language? They have a specific, a specific language, don't they, Shelley? <laughs> Pay attention to that. Know what it is. Know their little phrases. Write them down. Study them. Learn them. And that's why we're going to have the modules up on the web. Go re-review those often. We want to teach you everything that you need to know. And like Shelly said, you can market, market, market all you want, but unless you have the rest of the pieces of the puzzle, you don't have a whole picture, do you? Okay? So we have marketing for you as well. Have you researched trade magazines and associations related to this niche? One of the things, as I read this this morning, that I want to figure out before I leave, what magazine subscriptions related to this niche am I going to subscribe to? What do I need to be reading all of the time to make sure that I understand that what's going on in the mind of this particular marketplace? Okay. Have you set aside a market, marketing, advertising, promotion budget to place targeted ads, attend trade shows as an exhibitor, host gatherings of these businesses, and create targeted display material specific to this niche? Okay. I saw a, see a lot of people writing stuff down. That's if you get an idea, write it down. What gets written down gets done. Okay? Have you accessed databases for this industry with contact names, addresses, phone numbers, and email addresses? Well, a lot of that's already done for you. Okay? But never stop. If you see an opportunity, make sure you take action on it. Have you talked with your carrier about marketing resources and cooperative, cooperative advertising opportunities? Keep talking. Okay. Some additional key factors about real niche marketing. What actions will earn you the right to the time of potential decision makers in this niche? What key actions are going to earn you the right to commingle, to get in front of, to discuss certain situations with key decision makers in this particular niche? Make sure you keep your eyes and ears open for those opportunities. Do you have an anecdotal case studies of current clients in this arena that can be used on a testimonial basis? We'll talk more about marketing tomorrow quite a bit. But testimonies, testimonials, credibility is absolutely key in any arena. No one cares how much you know until they know you care. And proving that when a third party says it versus you saying it is huge. So keep that in mind all the time. Have you set a timetable to launch the program with specific goals to be achieved in three months, six months, a year? And I might interject, go three years and five years. You know, Shelly's about five years down the road. Look out that far. And it's amazing when you plan like that, it magically happens. We become what we think about. Okay? And is there someone from that niche that might be willing to mentor you? Okay? 
Is there somebody from that Mitch, niche that might be willing to mentor you? I see Doug raising his hand back there. To start, yeah. Doug is going to mentor you. He's going to help you. Okay? And as we discussed earlier today, there's going to come a time tomorrow afternoon sometime. You're going to leave here after Tommy gets done with you. Uh, I will guarantee that you're going to be ready to go. And you're going to be revved up. And like I said, you're going to either drive or get on a plane and get back to where you were. And there's going to be a point where it's the same old, same old. Okay? So what I'm going to show you next is really, really important. Uh, why do I have this up? Because I put this up in my office and all over the place that I can see it because we're all human and we all fall prey to the same thing. And it's on page eight as well. And I would encourage you to share this with other people. The definition of commitment is doing the thing you said you were going to do long after the mood you set it in has left you. Anybody else been there? Okay. All progress starts by telling the truth. All right. Okay. All right. So let's talk a little bit about TRSP before we go to break. I can't emphasize enough that we want to help you. In fact, we're your partners and we're your teammates through this whole transition. Okay. We want to help you develop the the requirements to be an effective producer within the niche market of trucking. We want to help you be an effective, profitable, successful producer in the market, niche market of trucking. Okay? Again, we're going to bring to you the education. We talked a little bit about that earlier. All of the modules online, all of the training, all the blogs, uh, and so forth, and so on and so forth. We're going to bring to you the leads, the prospects. Around 10 hot prospects a month or more. And there's five, I can't emphasize this enough. There's five lists that nobody else is touching except you. If only, only if you implement, execute, and take action once you leave here. Okay? Whose responsibility is that to implement, execute, and take action? Us, right? Okay. Materials. We're going to give you all the materials you need. Insurance carriers. We've got carriers on board, more coming. The helpline and the hotline, that's available as well. All with a guarantee. Okay? So, before we go to break, I just wanted to share with you again, this is a collaborative effort. Okay? Collaborative effort, all of us together. Okay? And the first list that we're going to see is the interstate list. Okay? So I want to break the ice there. There's two kinds of, of trucking operations. And, and, and I have as about as much info on trucking as you do. Maybe a little bit more because I've been listening to it a lot for the last couple months. But there's interstate leads, which is people that go state to state and maybe across the nation. And then there's intrastate leads. And the leads that we've originally talked about are only interstate leads. What is it, three times the number of leads for intrastate, which weren't even included? Opportunity, opportunity. It's knocking very loudly, okay? And let me assure you of this as well. We're not here to pitch you anything more. You're not going to be sold anything else over the next two days. We're here to help you. We want your success in this particular program. We feel it's a true win-win situation. And again, this is a partnership that we're in it together. Your leadership team, the ones that are agency principals, the ones that are leading their agencies as well are playing on the same playing field that you are. Okay? I've got three territories in my area, and I'm going to get after it. And I would encourage you <coughs> to do the same thing. So uh, with that being said, any quick questions, thoughts? Okay. I want to introduce to you um, our leadership team for TRSP. And uh, it would probably be most effective from a time standpoint to just have them go ahead and stand where they are. And uh, I want to make sure that we fully identify who each person is. Uh, I guess go ahead and say where you're from and so forth and so on just so we know geographically where everybody is. And uh, then we're going to go to break. So, and then we'll reconvene and Tommy will be teaching after that. So, sir? Jeff Friedlander, Okay. John, stand up. Yeah, please stand. John Mason. Okay. Mr. Rook. Tommy Rook, Lyra Smart. Okay. Max. Mike Segudo, East Berlin, Pennsylvania. Okay.
Okay. And I'm Mike Stromso from Marietta, California, which is about an hour north of San Diego. Doug. Doug Weber from uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul area. And lastly, but never least, Tom. Tom Wiesek from Carolina. And uh, Tom's partner is also here. Go ahead and stand. Russ Lowry from Oklahoma. All right. Did I miss anybody? And, and we have. Yeah, we have we have T-shirts on. Yeah, we're your TRS uh, leadership team. So please, like we said, uh, sleep is overrated. We're not here to sleep. We're here to help you in any way that we can be completely successful with this program. So if you have questions, please ask. Okay. And if you come up with anything, please make sure you write it down. So at this point, we're going to go to break, and we'll see you in about uh, ten, minutes. ten minutes. All right. Good. Thanks.